Welcome back. This is Dan Havey with CF Ninja Hacks. And right now we're going to take a look at how to upload a video we created in Voomly, how to get it playing in a uh, ClickFunnels 2.0 site. So what we're going to do here, I'm going to come in there and we're going to cancel that. And we're going to click here on Share. And we're going to copy that to the clipboard. And we're going to come over to a video element. And all we're going to do is we're going to paste in that link. We're going to click on Save. And then we're going to preview and we're going to see what's going to happen. And what's going to happen is a whole lot of nothing because that share link should not be used for putting a video into any kind of a funnel page or web page or WordPress blog or anything else. So what you want to do is come in here to embed. And what we can do is we can copy out this embed code and we'll come over here and we'll take out what we had put in. We will paste in the embed code. We will click on save and then we will reload the page. And then we're going to get the full video right here in all of its glory. Now what we can also do is we can change this into an iframe. So we can change it to iframe. We can copy that to the clipboard and we'll come in here. We'll delete everything out again, put in the new one. We will save this and you're going to see a different result this time because what we're going to see is the video is much, much smaller. So let me just drop that code over here that I was just looking at. And it's saying here that it's uh, 560 in width and 314 in height. Now what I did is I changed that and I made this here width of auto and height of auto. I think you could also do like width of 100% and then probably height of auto as well. In fact, because I've already tested width of auto and height of auto, let's just test here real quick. If we put in width of 100% and height of auto, that way it will definitely keep its aspect ratio. And so let's come back over here. Let's delete that out again. We will paste this in. We will click on save and then we will click on the eyeball to preview it. And again, now we are full size again. So of these two methods, the easiest, simplest one, of course, is just to come in here and grab a hold of the script by clicking on copy to clipboard. Now there is one other way you can put in that code and we can go into a custom JavaScript HTML element. And we can do exactly the same thing. So what we're going to do is we're going to come back here to Voomly. We're going to grab a hold of that code and I'm going to drop that in right there. And then let's come over here and let's copy this code and drop this in just so I don't have to do it twice. And we will save this and then we will hit the eyeball. And we can see now, let's see here, we got the embed code here and now the iframe code didn't show up at all. And actually the last time I tested this, the iframe did show up. So let me do this. Let me copy that to the clipboard on the iframe. Oops, wrong way. I got to open this up right here and let's paste this in. So it did not like the 100%. Let's do that. Let's save this page. And let's preview it again and let's see if we get two videos this time. And we're still only getting, oh wait, it's way down here. Um, what happened? I got pushed way down the page here for some reason. Let's go back into my code, see what's going on there. Why am I getting pushed way down the page? I don't know why that is. But what it appears though is see one of them is really small and that's what I was getting the first time when I was testing this is that we we're getting a really small version of the iframe video and the first time I had width of a hundred I'm sorry width of auto and height of auto now this time as you saw I put in width of 100% and height of 100% I know why I was doing this of course is because this is the video element and this got pushed down here for some reason on the page. But so either way, both times I've tested this, I found that the iframe version down here just is kind of wonky, especially when you're doing it inside of a custom JavaScript HTML element, which would be right here. So what I would suggest then on this is the best way to do it, whether you're dropping it into a custom JavaScript HTML element, or if you're doing it directly into a video element, best way to go about doing this is just come in here 
leave that unchecked. Just grab a hold of the embed code, copy that right there, come into again this element right there. We will delete this out. We will paste in the embed code, save it, and then there you go. That is the easiest and simplest way to pop that in there. And I guess because we had that that um, iframe code in here, that's what was pushing this down on the page. So again, if you use the iframe code inside of a video, you could have a spacing issue below it where it's pushing everything way down on the page as well. So there's all kinds of issues with the iframe, so just stick with the embed code and you'll be good to go. And if you've got any questions, just let me know.